What's up, gang? Brian B on Frustration Fridays here at West Coast Swing Online. This video, we are talking about one of the bigger frustrations we get. It's about the 10th or 11th biggest one we get, and it is that my husband, wife, boyfriend, girlfriend, partner doesn't dance, and I either want them to, or I don't know how to navigate that. So if you have a significant other that doesn't dance, what do you do? So typically when we have these struggles, it's in the beginning, right? You walk into a class, you get super passionate about dancing, and all of a sudden you're off spending a lot of time with a big group of people and your husband, wife, boyfriend, girlfriend, significant other partner is frustrated by that, and then you're frustrated. So number one, if you want them to dance, don't. Here's what I mean. I would for sure recommend that you invite them along, right? Invite them to class, invite them to a dance. If you're traveling for a dance weekend, invite them with you. Number one, I think that that goes a long way to showing that they're always welcome into that community and you're not trying to run away from them. This does not sound like relationship advice. I'm not a therapist, don't play one on YouTube. So, but I would invite them along. And typically what happens is they can get comfortable in the environment and in most of the time they don't wanna go. You love being there for two hours. It is Dance Louisville here in Louisville, Kentucky. It's fun to be in dancing. It's not very fun when you're sitting around. Miss Emily's behind the camera and it's cold in here. So it's not a fun place to sit around. Um, if you're traveling to a weekend event, you can bring your significant other with you. Um, and this is where you need to make a little bit of a, a, a concession. You can't dance 24 hours a day. You have to spend some time with them. That would be my advice if you wanted to keep your husband, wife, boyfriend, girlfriend, significant other, partner, relationship intact. Um, so they might get inspired and want to dance. That's great. But also I want you to keep in mind this. It is weird. We participate in a weird hobby. I love it. I've built my life around dancing. But it is strange when you move from normal America into this dance world. So I want you to be aware of that and, um, and be respectful in those ways, right? Uh, in the, we did a, a video on West Coast Swing dance etiquette. So if you want to click on that, that's very helpful in understanding some of the specifics of um, how to ask people to dance when they have significant others, certainly in the beginning, and being respectful, even though our community gets, no, it becomes normal just to grab people and dance and run around the room and that type of thing, but to keep a degree of etiquette with that that keeps things super professional. So if you're frustrated that your significant other doesn't dance, introduce them to it, and if they don't like it, that's just part of the game. You're gonna have to figure a way to enjoy your hobby and keep that intact, because if they're supportive of that, it makes life uh, much easier for you and you can enjoy your dancing. And just keep in mind that you're probably, if you're watching this video this long, you're super passionate about it and you can't imagine a night without dancing. Um, that's a weird thing. Most people aren't that passionate about something, so it's a little bit strange in the real world. So just keep that in mind that uh, although all of your dance friends feel the same way, the rest of the world doesn't always. So you need to just kind of manage that. Cool. Uh, if you guys have any other helpful tips on dealing with significant others, uh, give me a comment in the description below and tell me your story and that way this can be a living breathing resource um, for people who have this frustration cool and if you have not yet subscribed to the youtube channel click the red link in the button below um, always look at the description below our videos we share a bunch of cool resources there that are usually relevant to the topic if you have not yet picked up our ebook that is fantastic you can get it in the description below it is the best path to all of our resources both on youtube on our website and on our blog cool thanks guys and we'll see you guys on a dance floor soon mm -hmm.